Breaking news alert, a deadly plane crash tonight. Two people were on board that plane when it went down in a field near Hitchcock. Investigators still on the scene at this hour. Robert Arnold is there with them right now and joins us live. Robert, what can you tell us about this? Well, right now we are at the intersection of FM 2004 and Halls Bayou Ranch Road and about two miles down that way in some very inhospitable terrain is where the wreckage of this plane is. The plane that was involved in this crash, we are told by DPS, is a Beechcraft Traveler made in 1965. One of the things that DPS is trying to figure out is why there was no distress call before the crash. One person died in the crash. A second person was able to survive the crash. He was taken by ambulance from the wreckage of the plane to life flight and then by life flight to the hospital. Now, as I had mentioned, DPS is trying to figure out why there wasn't a distress call before this crash. In fact, we spoke with Department of Public Safety Sergeant Stephen Woodard, and he explains how they got the call and how that led them to the wreckage. Who made it? Nothing. We didn't receive anything. The only thing that we know of is a cell phone call, and uh, we uh, coordinated that with GPS coordinates, and man, grateful for technology. Now, Sergeant Woodard says that cell phone call came from the person who survived this plane crash. We did speak to friends of the two gentlemen who were on board this plane, and he tells us both were pilots. However, one person had 7,000 hours of flight time in this particular model aircraft. The second person, who was a pilot, had only five hours of flight time in this aircraft. So we are told this was a scheduled training flight. No one knows what happened after that at this point. Again, DPS is here. You've got the Galveston County Sheriff's Office here, the medical examiner's office here in Hitchcock police here. Everybody's trying to piece all of this together to figure out what exactly went wrong and why there was no mayday call. Again, the first sign of distress came after the crash when the, one of the survivors used his cell phone to dial 911. Of course, as soon as we have more information, we will update you on click2houston.com and on air. Reporting live from Hitchcock, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.